The uh, gentleman from South Carolina. Mr. Speaker, I'd like to yield this time uh, two minutes to the gentleman from Texas, Mr. Paul. The gentleman from Texas is recognized. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I ask you to ask consent to revise and extend my remarks. Without objection. Uh, th thank you. I want to uh, thank the committee as well as our leadership for bringing a resolution to the floor that uh, is one that I can support. It is supporting of the troops, but it does not go that one step further to rubber stamp a foreign policy that is very questionable. So I appreciate that uh, very much. But in another sense, I think it's awful strange that every time we do find our troops in harm's way that we need to come to the House floor to reassure ourselves that uh, we support the troops. I have never been challenged, and I take controversial votes on occasion, and I've never seen another member challenge anybody as being unpatriotic and not supportive of the troops. So it sort of bewilders me a little bit that we always have to say we support the troops. I think that should go without saying. But nevertheless, we do have this uh, resolution on the floor, and I, uh, I will support it. But I just wonder uh, why that occurs, that we have to do this. And I think sometimes it's because we have not met up to our responsibilities, because we have troops in harm's way, and I think in an improper manner. We have not done this properly according to the Constitution, that we get permission from, from the House and the Senate and give the President the authority to do this. So I think we have a little bit of a guilt uh, feeling about having these troops gotten to in harm's way without uh, our pro without the proper permission, and therefore we have to make sure that we are taking uh, taking care of the troops. Now, if we really want to support our troops, I think we would defend the sovereignty of this country. I think we would provide for a strong national defense, and we certainly would avoid putting our troops in harm's way. The real question that comes up is putting the troops in this region right now. We are invading the sovereignty of a nation, which is very questionable. This is not done very often. And yet, uh, uh, Serbia is a sovereign nation. They're having a civil war, and we have bad guys on both sides. Uh, for us here in the Congress to decide who the good guys and on who the bad guys are is, uh, is, is pretty difficult. The gentleman's time has expired. The gentleman from New York, Mr. Crowley, is recognized.